this is Dave Thomas again and maybe you've seen the videos for my GNOME or Spaceloft models these are minimum diameter BT5 13 millimeter motor kits and both of them use a shock cord mount that also doubles as the launch lug and so the shock cord comes out through a slot in the body tube and it's supposed to get caught underneath here when you glue this piece on. I've found that a lot of times that shock cord gets pulled out either during ejection or just if you've got younger modelers who are playing around with it, things like that. Um, but it's all too often the shock cord comes detached from there. So what do you do? Well, the body tube is really small and using a standard glue-on SD shock cord mount um, is going to get in the way and probably will result in a failed ejection system. So I'm going to replace mine with Kevlar. This is 100 pound test Kevlar line and the general rule of thumb is to use three times the length of your rocket. So my rocket here is about no, oh, 26 and a half, 20, about 26 centimeters there. I'm just going to round up to a foot. Okay, so I'm going to get myself one foot of Kevlar line here. And there are several rocketry retailers online that sell this in small amounts. Um, you can also just go on to places like Amazon. Um, this is actually made for kite flying. All right, so once you've got that, um, the next thing you're going to want to do is put a drop of super glue on those free ends um, because you can see this already it's starting to fray and so this will just keep that from going further and then I'm going to take a tissue here and wipe off the excess really quickly. Okay, And that's almost immediately touchable without gluing your fingers to it. Alright, next thing we're going to need is a BT5 size uh, engine block. Now I don't have any in my spare parts box, but I do have this uh, engine spacer tube that came from another Estes kit. I think it was the Mini Honest John. And so I'm just going to cut myself a ring here. The exact size doesn't matter too much. Somewhere in the neighborhood of half a centimeter to a centimeter long. All right. Or if you have an engine block, then just use the size that you have. And so I'm going to take one end of my Kevlar line here and I'm just going to tie a double knot in this. Like that. And then I'm going to pull this up. All right, now I want the knot to go inside the tube a little bit there. Kind of like that. Now you notice it's already trying to come undone and Kevlar does that. Tighten that down again once you've got it in position. And then here again, we can use a little bit of super glue and use that to lock that knot into place. Okay, we'll let that dry for a few minutes. And the next thing we're going to do is measure about how far down you want this to go. Okay, because what we're going to do is glue the inside of the body tube. And so I'm going to use a long applicator here. And I want this to go down fairly far so that I've still got lots of room in here for my streamer and for the shock cord and such. Alright, so if I want to glue down about that far, let's say, All right, let's measure that. So about 9, 10 there. I'm going to say it's 9 centimeters. And then I'm going to plan on pushing my ring down 10 centimeters. So it'll go through my ring of glue. So what I'll do is put glue on this, stick it up in there, squish it around the sides, bring it back out. 
And now to get this down, you're going to need either a dowel that's 13 millimeters in diameter, or you can make one of these. Okay, um, this is actually a, what I call a painting stick, and it's simply a, a bamboo skewer or a small dowel that's attached to a spent engine, and the inside's filled with tissue and glue. So normally I would stick this up in the engine mount while I'm painting a rocket to keep my hands from getting all painted. But in this case, I'm going to use this to push my ring down into the rocket. Okay, now I feel some resistance where this was here, um, but it's going to go further down, and this I'll push my ring down ahead of me and bring that back up. Okay, so for this, I need to measure where 10 centimeters is. About that point. Okay, and what I'll do then is I'm going to stick this in first. Push it in. And now this is going to get a little tighter because I do have the um, cord there next to it. It's going to go down. Now I'm hanging up. Okay, so that's the tight space in there. And so I may need to take something else and push that down further. Just get it past that. There we go. And if you don't have one of these, you could just use a dowel here to push that down one side at a time. All right. and as tight as this is, I think I'm going to end up doing that. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to take my wood glue. You can use white glue as well. All right. And again, I'm going to measure here 9 centimeters. Put my thumbnail there. Okay, the glob of glue there. All right, and I'm not going to touch any sides. It's kind of like playing Operation, if you remember that old game. All right, and just put some glue around the inside there. And I'm going to slide down the ring with the shock cord. And the shock cord should be facing up. So I've got my knot there and my shock cord's facing this way. Okay, and I'm just going to shove that down. Okay, I'm just having to kind of do this around each edge there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to have to remeasure. Alright, so there's 10 centimeters. That's what I'm aiming for. Feels like I'm already hitting glue in there. Just going to make sure I've got the same all the way down. All right, now I'm just going to lightly pull on that to pull it away from the side. Okay, and then up here on my nose cone, I'll just tie a double knot in that. Okay, you want just a small amount of remaining line there on the free end. If this is sticking out more than about half a centimeter, trim that back so you don't get it caught up between the shoulder and the body tube. And once again, go ahead and just put a little spot of super glue on that knot. And then finally for the streamer, I just need some transparent tape here. Right. So I've got an uh, inch and a half, two inches there. I'm just going to tape this on one side of the streamer there. All right, and I know it's transparent, so it's going to be kind of hard to see. Uh, and then I'm going to bring this down this at about 10 centimeters or so. Fold that over. 
on to the other side so that the shock cord is trapped between the streamer and the tape. Okay, and then when you're ready to do this, simply fold the streamer upon itself a few times. Roll up the last little bit of uh, streamer. Um, all of the shock cord can go down inside the rocket, followed by the streamer, followed by the last bit of shock cord in the nose cone. Now, since I still have wet glue going in here, I'm not going to do that yet. Oh. Knowing what you now know about the shock cord in the gnome and the space loft, you could do this when you actually first build the rocket. And in that case, what I would do is uh, you will still need to get an extra engine block of some sort because in these rockets, the um, motor mount clip itself acts as the engine block. Uh, and then what I would suggest is put that engine block up in about here. Um, you can do it from this side of the rocket. Go ahead and string the shock cord all the way out again. And then go ahead and assemble the rest of the rocket as per the instructions. So, if you've ever suffered through a broken shock cord in one of these tiny rockets, I hope this helps, and please stay tuned for more of my videos.